Hey guys, it's Mr. A with Al LaSalle Community Arts Network and Al LaSalle Union School District. In this video, we're going to work on the exercise called strings. I highly recommend you look at the video for harmonics first because it will be very related. In strings, you're going to be able to click on each string on your screen and hear the sound that it makes. Now, if you've seen harmonics, this is going to look kind of similar. The thing that I want you to click is down here at the bottom. We'll talk about the top in just a second. In the first string, we have a full length. It makes our lowest sound. If we put another pinch halfway between, that doubles the sound up, and it goes a whole octave higher. Pinch it again, it goes higher, higher, higher. Now these little marks up here show you equal distances of pinching it off, which is just like in harmonics. Splitting it into three gives you a note that's not quite an octave, but splitting it into four, which doubles from our two, makes our two split and our four split an octave apart. The five split doesn't match with anything just yet right here, but the six split is a double of our three split, and we have an octave there. So that you know, the notes on top, the strings that are on top that aren't fully pinched, that are the other distances, you can click on those as well, but those sounds are not the ones that we're focused on. Two out of three, three out of four, four out of five, and five out of six. The point is to see that these bottom circles pinching off change the sound just to match exactly like the harmonic video from before. And that about does it. These two ideas are very related to each other, and both exercises are talking about pretty much the same thing. Hope you guys had fun with this one, and I'll see you in another lesson. Bye-bye now.